Welcome to the Innovation Theater. My name is Brian Knott. I'm the director of Global Marketing X-Ray. And joining me is Beth Heckel, as our Global Clinical Applications Leader for X-Ray as well. And as you saw in the video, we're introducing revolutionary new technology in the form of digital portable X-Ray, and it's the AMX Navigate, what we say, innovation in motion. One thing we've done in the development of this product is really look to some of the key needs from technologists in terms of workflow, but basically in terms of ergonomics. We've also looked at it in a couple other pillars in terms of our overall design objectives in terms of how we're coming to market with this product. And this is behind the design, a little sneak peek behind the design in terms of what is driving the strategic objectives of the product has to do with effortless workflow, clinical excellence, and rugged reliability. We're gonna focus our discussion today on effortless workflow, what does that mean in terms of patient safety, some of the key concerns in reducing imaging errors and patient identification, as well as in terms of technologist workflow. What can we do to make it easier, remove some of the stress and strain out of the job, really look at it from an ergonomic standpoint. And then supporting the rest of the design has to do with clinical excellence, with driving artificial intelligence into the platform that helps with, art, with clinical decision support, and supporting the entire foot platform in terms of rugged reliability, a system that goes the distance and stands the test of time. So one thing I want to talk about really is, you know, some concerns around safety. But I would think, if you think in, in terms of the industry, what are like the most hazardous um, job professions out there? These would be the jobs that come to mind, right? This is where there tends to be a lot of work-related injuries that take place. It's your firefighter, it's in the mining industry, it's in agriculture, it's in, you know, in logging, right? But you don't tend to think of healthcare as a space where there can be professions that have you know, high incidence of, of injuries. So as you look into it, you actually find that you know, over 70% of technologists in some time in their career are gonna have a work-related injury that's gonna keep them away from the job. Right? So when you think of it from a technologist perspective, what does that mean? That means downtime. That also means concerns in terms of maybe job satisfaction and retention. So these are real issues that as an industry we need to really look at. And this became one of the core elements in our design that we really focused on. So as you dig a little bit deeper into the problem, uh, and this is uh, a Bureau of Labor Statistics, you can see that in a diagnostic imaging space, X-ray technologists comprise nearly half of all injuries that takes place. Now, that, that's considerable. When you look across your peers in terms of ultrasound and, and MR and CT, um, half of all injuries are in the X-ray technologist space. So why is that? Well, there has to be a lot in terms of positioning patients that takes place. These systems are used throughout the entire hospital, especially in the mobile environment. They're going to the patient, they're going to the ER, they're going to the NICU, OR, and trauma settings, right? So there's a lot of motion and there's a lot of positioning that has to take place to get the right image. Not only that, they're positioning patients and detectors. So it can become a stressful and hazardous environment just through that stress and strain that technologists experience. So when we look at it from a patient's perspective, what do we need to do differently, right? And we did observational analysis. We went out to all kinds of uh, hospitals in the U.S. and globally and really learned these key, impact, key pain points around workflow, ergonomics, but also in terms of patient concerns with safety. And when you look at market data, so this is not just portable, not just imaging, this is across all of healthcare, you'll find it's really some startling statistics that there's 98,000 deaths a year, 400,000 adverse events that are related to misidentification of patients, a real problem. And so we looked at this as well to say, okay, what element of this is really tied into portable imaging and how can we address it? And what we found is that portable x-ray comprises 69% in the diagnostic imaging realm of all patient identification errors that take place. So this is actually quite significant and quite a deep insight to say, what can we do differently? As an OEM in this space, this is something we need to invest in this product to reshape how we can make it easier for technologists not only to use the system, but get better patient identification so it's better um, quality exams and we make sure we don't make mistakes. 
So what can be done to improve these problems? And really, that's the first question in any design to design differently. We need to understand the problem, and then we design to that, to come to the solutions. And what we were driving us is that, you know, technologists, up to 70 to 83 percent of technologists will have this work-related injury. So we started to think, well, what if you could reduce that lift force by 50 percent in moving the tube head up and down? What if we could get higher than that? And so we drove to a, a design spec of driving to 70% lift force reduction across the industry. And what if we can reduce repetitive motion that takes place? The interactions that a technologist has to do to set up an exam, how can we make that easier? We even looked at it from just visualizing the exam. How can we reduce glare out of the monitor and also improve patient setup time and overall exam time. So all these were driving into the workflow solutions to revolutionize and change uh, how we do portable x-ray. And here's an interesting graph to share. And what we want to demonstrate in a few seconds is the free motion lift assisted telescoping column. And you can see in the dark blue, the lowest column, that is the free motion telescoping column on the AMX Navigate. It's three times lower force to lift than any the industry standard or average that you see here. It's almost two times lower than the nearest competitor. So across the board, in terms of telescoping, collapsible columns, this is the least amount of lift force, meaning that that's going to help a technologist out in their day-to-day -day job in terms of, you know, they're, they're doing daily rounds and they're positioning the tube head over and over again. This can literally add up to hundreds of thousands of pounds of lift force we can reduce over the course of a year. And that's significant, significant in terms of making the job easier and less stress and strain. Now we want to take a moment. So Beth's going to show you the um, free motion telescoping column. We'll show and dock it from the cradle. And you can see it's very easy. It's motor assisted, lift assisted technology. In fact, Beth can do it with one hand, up and down. Now it rotates 270 degrees in either direction. Tube head rotates very easily. It's on a small footprint chassis, easy to position within the hospital setting in any environment. You also see a light indicator on the top. So that's really visual management for the technologist to be able to see if the system's ready for exposure, if it's ready to, or if there's a problem. So this is all parts of just making it easier for technologists, visual management, ergonomics across the entire solution. Okay, now the column on the system really all encompasses a system that's really easy to drive. A shorter column, ob obviously, obviously, it has to do with some visibility aspects to be able to see around that column easier. But this system is one of the smallest footprints in the market. We have got a small column, and in terms of we've reduced the size of the tube head enclosure. So it's really about 360 visibility and having confidence that you can position this system anywhere and incorporating within the design is also our easy drive. So it's pressure sensitive drive handle, very smooth, gives you the control and confidence, as I said, to get into any type of clinical condition, any type of clinical environment that you can think of, and in and out of elevators very easily. Okay, so when we look at the patient concerns, what can we do to drive out the misidentification in the process? Like I said, in portable imaging alone, it's up to 69% of um, patient misidentification diagnostic imaging is in the portable space. So we looked at this in terms of design is what can we do to drive this down? What can we do to simplify it and expedite the workflow? And as we started to look through the solution, we realized that this is actually improves the overall quality of the exam as well. It helps re reduce drive down error rate in the process. So what we in incorporated into this is called zero click exam workflow. So in essence, what this is, it's really designed around one, getting the patient identification right, streamlining this entire process by reducing up to 100% of the clicks or user interface interactions you need to take to get that exposure and get that exam and then automatically uh, advance onto the next series. So we'll take a look at this. I have an animation we'll play right now that demonstrates what this process entails. So you see it starts out right away from the uh, technologist logging on the system with an RFID badge. It ties them to the work list. 
Now what we've done is we did patient identification with a barcode reader. So we go up to the patient wrist bracelet, get that identification, it automatically matches them to the work list, and then at that time, protocols are automatically coming in to get the right exam. There's a lot more that's en encompassed in this, but that's just, as you can see here. So we can automate so many different features, including our artificial intelligence, auto grid, auto advance to the next exam, and then an, uh, AI brightness and contrast to make, give you the right look for the, for the exam at the end. So it's quite a, a, a comprehensive solution, and we demonstrate this with technologists on the floor. We're getting exceptional feedback in terms of what this means to workflow, what this can be for quality of exam and overall a uh, solution that they've been looking for. So I'm gonna walk through a quick demonstration, which you'll see in the video, that shows basically a before and after. So if you didn't have zero click exam, what would this process look like versus zero click? And we will see a, a time difference in the entire process. So from the simulation, we would start with the, the login as we did, and we'd go through the, uh, the barcode scanner to the patient bracelet and through the exam. So here we go. Okay, on the manual workflow, you're actually logging into the system manually. On the zero click exam, I mean, it's already done. In five seconds, we've done the login, we've been able to scan the patient bracelet, and everything else has gone automatic up to the exposure. While in the manual workflow, we're still trying to catch up, right? We now have logged in, we're now identifying the patient, maybe doing, uh, checking their, their name, verifying their birth date, and then we'll be able to assign the protocols to the exam, which is happening right now, and then you're ready for exposure. So the time savings alone and just doing these two different examples is about 30, 31 seconds, right? And that was a simple case. So let me walk through in a little bit more detail and a little bit more of a comprehensive uh, example. So once again, RFID badge, quick, simple, swipe on, you're on the system, and now it's, we're scanning the, the patient's bracelet, getting the identification, auto protocols are being assigned, in this case, no grid was on the detector, but AutoGrid kicks in as a software to make sure that we get the right um, settings set up as where we take the exposure. Now at this point, artificial intelligence is kicking in. We're all advancing to the next uh, exam, and we have AI uh, brightness and co contrast kicking in. So there's a lot going on there, um, but just to simulate all the steps that have become automated, smooth, streamlined, and really gets that uh, point of really getting to the right identification of the patient and making it all go well. So that's just one step. Um, another aspect of, of making sure that we get the right patient identification in place, as well as trying to drive down errors that take place in the department with x-ray. Because we've seen as, uh, as an industry has evolved from analog to CR and now into DR, that actually there can be a high rate of rejects that take place in imaging. In fact, up to 25% we found in studies, and that's not acceptable, right? We know we wanna drive that down because it's not efficient workflow and it's unnecessary dose to the patient. So we look at it in terms of like the errors that happen. It's, a lot of it's related to positioning of a patient, artifacts in the image. So we've incorporated dashboard technology to be able to easily pull it from an ingestion service on the hospital site pull it in from GE compatible equipment, as well as OEM competitive systems that are compatible, that we can pull that data out. That makes it very easy for the department manager to be able to see everything in context, know exactly um, what image was rejected, drill down into that, and you can incorporate training to help the entire team to be better, more efficient, and also other applications such as dose dose indices, to be able to make sure that you're not overdosing, underdosing, and how to be able to uh, drive the right training into your program. So that's just another aspect in terms of how we're driving, you know, not only patient identification, but driving down error rates across the department. And then in summary, I would invite you to come to the GE booth, learn a little bit more in terms of our effortless workflow. We can go through entire simulations with you. Learn about our clinical excellence, and that's all around artificial intelligence. The AMX platform is the fir world's first system that provides AI clinical decision support to the radiologist, and as well, intelligent services and rugged reliability. So stop by. We're really excited about it. We want to show you every aspect of the system. Thank you.